Welcome to Adaptivids. In today's digital world, cyber attacks have become increasingly sophisticated and devastating. But have you ever wondered how exactly a cyber attack unfolds? From the first infiltration to the final exfiltration of sensitive data, today we're breaking down the anatomy of a breach, step by step, with real-world examples that shook the world. Let's get started. Stage Number 1. Initial Infiltration Gaining access, every breach begins with an initial point of entry. Attackers need a way to get into a system, and they use methods like phishing emails, malware, or exploiting software vulnerabilities. The goal at this stage is to bypass defenses and establish a foothold. Example of Stage 1, Initial Infiltration A famous example is the 2013 Target Data Breach. Hackers infiltrated the company's network through a third-party heating, ventilation, and air conditioning vendor. The attackers sent a phishing email to the vendor, which contained malware that stole their login credentials. With these credentials, the attackers were able to access Target's network. This seemingly small and unnoticed step opened the door to Target's entire payment system, ultimately compromising the credit card information of 40 million customers. Another classic example is the 2017 Equifax breach. The attackers exploited a known vulnerability in the Apache Strut software, which Equifax had failed to patch. This allowed them to gain initial access to the network and begin the attack. Stage number two, reconnaissance, scanning and learning. Once inside, attackers don't immediately steal data. Instead, they take time to scan and learn about the system. This phase, called reconnaissance, helps them map out targets, identify vulnerabilities, and plan their next move. Example of Stage 2, Reconnaissance. During the Sony Pictures attack in 2014, hackers spent weeks exploring the company's network, identifying critical servers, and understanding where sensitive data like emails and movie scripts were stored. The careful reconnaissance allowed them to strike effectively later. Stage number 3, Privilege Escalation gaining control. After reconnaissance, attackers need more control. They escalate their privileges, moving from a low-level user account to an admin-level account, which gives them broader access to systems and data. Low-level access is rarely enough for a successful breach, so attackers search for credentials, misconfigurations, or weaknesses in identity management systems that will help them gain elevated permissions. Example of Stage 3. Privilege Escalation. In the Equifax breach of 2017, attackers exploited an unpatched vulnerability in the Apache Struts web application. Once inside, they escalated their privileges to access sensitive data, including social security numbers of over 147 million people. Privilege escalation was also critical in the Uber breach of 2022. Attackers gained low-level access through social engineering but quickly escalated privileges by finding credentials for admin accounts stored in internal tools. This allowed them to gain widespread access across Uber's systems. Stage Number 4. Lateral Movement Spreading across the network Now that attackers have control, they don't just stay in one place. They move laterally across the network, accessing additional servers, endpoints, and systems. This allows them to expand their reach and maximize the damage. Lateral movement is a crucial phase because it enables attackers to find high-value targets, gain access to confidential data, and avoid detection by security systems. Example of Stage 4, Lateral Movement The NotPetya ransomware attack in 2017 is a textbook example of lateral movement. Initially, it infiltrated through Ukrainian accounting software but quickly spread laterally across global networks causing billions of dollars in damage to companies like Maersk and FedEx. Stage number five, data exfiltration, theft and extraction. Finally, the attackers reach their goal, data exfiltration. This is where they steal valuable information like personal data, intellectual property or financial records and send it to external servers. They may compress and encrypt the data to avoid detection by security tools making it harder to trace the breach until it's too late. These stolen assets are often sold on the dark web, leading to financial and reputational harm for the affected organizations. Example of Stage 5. Data Exfiltration In the 2020 Twitter hack, attackers gained access to internal systems through a social engineering attack. 
They exfiltrated sensitive user information and took control of high-profile accounts, posting cryptocurrency scams that tricked users into sending money. The Capital One breach of 2019 saw attackers exfiltrate personal information, including credit scores and social security numbers, from over 100 million accounts. This breach was facilitated by exploiting misconfigured web application firewalls. Such breaches demonstrate the importance of securing data at every level. Stage number 6. Impact and Damage The aftermath of a breach can be devastating. Financial losses, legal consequences, and a damaged reputation. Businesses may face hefty fines, lawsuits, and loss of customer trust. Beyond financial impact, cyber attacks often disrupt operations, causing downtime and delays that cost companies both time and money. In severe cases, breaches can lead to bankruptcy or even jeopardize national security. Example of Stage 6. Impact and Damage the Sony Pictures hack in 2014 didn't just result in financial losses. It delayed movie releases and leaked sensitive employee information. The reputational damage was severe, and the company struggled to regain public trust. Similarly, the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack in 2021 led to widespread fuel shortages on the United States. East Coast demonstrating how cyber attacks can have tangible real-world consequences. Another example is the 2018 Marriott International breach, where attackers stole data from 500 million guests, including passport numbers and payment details. The incident resulted in lawsuits, regulatory fines, and a significant loss of customer confidence. This stage of a cyber attack highlights the critical need for proactive defenses, robust incident response plans, and continuous monitoring. By addressing vulnerabilities and planning for contingencies, organizations can mitigate damage and recover more effectively. Understanding the stages of a cyber attack from infiltration to data exfiltration is crucial in preventing breaches. By identifying vulnerabilities, patching systems, and improving employee awareness, organizations can stop attackers in their tracks. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cybersecurity insights right here on Adaptivids. Thanks for watching and stay safe online.